cards typically feature numbers, letters, and plus and minus signs written on them. These labels help you locate certain holes on the board so that you can follow directions when building a circuit. You can think of this concept as being similar to a spreadsheet. On either side of most breadboards are strips of holes surrounded by plus and minus signs. These strips are known as buses or rails and are used to supply electrical power to your circuit when it's connected to a battery pack or external power supply. When circuit directions refer to the positive bus, then it's referring to the strip of holes closer to the positive sideline. Similarly, the negative or ground bus refers to the strip of holes closer to the negative line. You may also hear the term power bus or rails used to refer to both of the buses together, rather than just the positive one. Technically, there are no physical differences between the different buses. The labels just make them easier to organize your circuit. Some, but not all of the holes are connected. The buses are connected vertically, so all of the negative bus holes are connected to one another in a series vertically, and all of the positive bus holes are connected to one another in a series vertically. However, buses on the opposite sides of the breadboard are not connected to each other, but they can be connected through the use of jumper wire. The half rows of holes are connected horizontally. For example, rows 1A through E will be connected, and then rows 1F through J will be connected, but they will not be connected across the gap. Now that you understand these basics, you should be able to follow breadboard or circuit diagrams in order to create your own circuits. Stay tuned to Galco TV for more tech tips and how-to videos. And be sure to visit galco.com to view our full product catalog.